hey girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another video if you're new here my name is jerenica micea but all my friends call me jean and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face now if you haven't already make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe make sure to follow me over on instagram girl for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads all right y'all so i'm on my way out the house to run some errands I have to get my nails done. This is my first time getting my nails done, y'all, in like two, three weeks. Oh, girl, tragic. Not really, I don't like going to the nail shop, but <clears throat> this is gonna be a apartment maintenance slash updated video because I wanna do like an apartment refresh. Um, It's the new year. Once I took down my holiday decor, I just wanted to give my apartment like a new zhuzh, okay? So I'm gonna be going through some things, giving some recommendations. You guys have been asking about my couch for months, actually since I moved here. I did not wanna um, recommend this couch and give you guys details on this couch until I was able to live with it. I didn't wanna say, oh, I love the couch, but I only had the couch for two weeks. And then I'm like, oh, this couch sucks. So now that I've had the couch for six months, I feel like I can actually go into detail and tell you guys if I would recommend it or not. Um, also, I'm doing like little tweaks here. For the most part, <clears throat> my apartment is very neutral and I wanted it to be neutral because with neutral color palettes, color schemes, it is so easy to change things in and out and make it look and feel new. Like you can add a new throw on the couch or switch up the coffee table or the smallest things okay so we're going to be doing that the biggest thing that i want to do in this video i ordered a miniature carpet cleaner slash it's like this thing that you can clean your couch um the rug ottomans chairs all of those things headboards you can clean anything it's like a portable little cleaner so i ordered that from amazon that's going to be here tomorrow i have another package from Amazon coming today and that's going to be like the um the solution to clean it so we're going to do that also in this let me show y'all now if we've been honest one thing that I'm super embarrassed about I told myself by the end of the year this will not be empty it's empty so in this vlog we're going to be completing this I actually have to run out to Home Depot right now to get um what I need to complete that so that's pretty much it i'm going to just share little updates and recommendations for certain things that i have because yeah i'm just switching it up just a little just to make everything feel new y'all i've been getting new flowers um like <clears throat> weekly bi-weekly it just depends on how long they last i don't know if you can see these in the back girl flowers looking around and seeing these flowers it, it just really make me feel so happy like Fresh flowers will do it for you, okay? So treat yourself to some flowers this week, girl. But I'm gonna see you guys outside. I have to get my nails done first. I'm not taking y'all with me to get my nails done because this is not that type of video. But I will see you girls most likely in Home Depot and I have to stop to like TJ Maxx because I wanna see, I'm thinking about getting a new small little cute pillow for the couch. So I'll see you girls outside. So I'm at TJ Maxx again looking for some more of the rose water spray. I don't think they have any more. I said I would check at least twice a week. They don't have any more. As I'm checking out, I see they have my favorite candle. Now, what I like about this candle, it's in like a neutral container. They have a large one, but it's in a blue container. So I think I'm going to get three of these. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with my vacuum. My vacuum ended up breaking. I think I use her too much. I literally use it every single day. So they are giving me a new one. But the trickery is I don't believe in getting home appliances without getting a warranty. So it's like, I just feel like I'm being scammed right now. But I also think I wanna, oh my God, they have one for $800. That's not happening. I think I also wanna upgrade. If I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it, so. That's such a dilemma. So stressful, also annoying, but I don't know which one to get now. I don't even see the one that I had. That one was like $200. All of these are like 500 and a thousand dollars for a vacuum. I wish, like, come on now. 
ain't no way my girl but i don't even see the one that i had this is so aggravating wow and i'm just not paying these prices for a vacuum it took me forever to buy one that was two hundred dollars i'm not paying that much for this so they have this one but she just gives me very generic i want the one that i had this is my couch i'm actually about to take all of the pillows and stuff off really quick um i'm gonna go into detail and give y'all a little more updated information on this couch but right now we're just gonna clean the couch so with this couch i don't know if you can see it you can see it just a little i waste wine here and i also have one over over here you can't really see it. that's another reason i really love this couch but we're about to clean it. Y'all can't see it, but I can see it. So, so the thing is this, on Amazon, this little gadget has so many great reviews. And I just feel like if you have a very light color scheme in your home, even if you don't, I think this is just a good um, item or a little home gadget to have because you can have spills if you have pets. This is just a good way I feel like to keep my house clean and everything looking very airy and brand new so So for the carpet, it is definitely working because I had a lot of um, spots on this carpet just from, I guess, everyday use and stuff like that. But when you're ready to drain it, you just lift the flap up and you can drain it. So this is the dirt from the carpet and the couch. It's not that dark, but it's pretty pretty bad and it has a little thing over here that'll tell you when it's full I don't know if you can see that full and what I'm gonna do is basically refill this all right y'all so this side of the carpet is done but as you can see I don't know if you can tell this side is clean this side is not so this side is oh hopefully you guys can see it because I know hold on let me turn off the light maybe that'll be better Okay, I don't know if that helped, but this side is clean, this side is not. As you can see, this is how the rug looked when I first purchased it. Look how pretty and clean it looks. And this is the color that it has become now because I'm always walking on it, the vacuum, it collects dust, just everyday wear and tear, but I definitely see a difference. So I'm almost done, halfway there.
And also y'all, this is not taking me long at all. I only had to refill this thing. I'm on like the second refill. Um, I did order another bottle of the solution stuff. It comes with a eight ounce bottle, but I ordered a larger bottle because this is something that I kind of want to keep doing just to make sure this rug and the couch and stuff just don't start turning colors. So almost done. All right, y'all, so I am done cleaning the carpet. It looks brand spanking new. I am very impressed with this little gadget. Now, what I would recommend is, in order to get the most effective clean on the carpet, or, well, I don't even wanna say the couch, the carpet, I, as you can see, I went one way. I think it's the way that the hairs on the carpet is laying, because I just find that it was easier to clean that way. All of the spots that I had from the sage is all gone, and it only took me two refills of the um the little vacuum thing. Now on the couch, it's still drying, but the wine stain, girl, it's gone. As you can see right here, it's wet, but yeah, both of them, the stains are gone. I touched that five view. I do that three, times again. I five view. I told I like you, that bitch, I do it. All that I'm around, you scared to do. This is honestly the only area that pretty much changed. Everything else is pretty much the same because in the kitchen, what could I really do? Like, if we're being honest. Um, as you guys can see, I used to have cookies and stuff like that in here. I'm a grown-up now, so now I have grits, oatmeal, brown sugar, because I don't buy sugar. This is the only sugar that I have for, like, oatmeal. And I have whole wheat pasta because she's trying to be it. A healthy girl so i'm switching out like certain things for healthier options instead of buying white sugar i have brown sugar instead of buying buying regular pasta i buy whole wheat pasta and right here each week maybe like sundays i usually switch these out for some trader joe's flowers and this is from home goods if yeah home goods and this right here <laughs> when i was in new york a lot of, of things in my apartment is inspired by some of my favorite hotels so when i was in new york this little lamp situation we went out to this bar the rooftop and they had like these little cute dainty lamps so i'm like where did you guys get these but look at this how cute so at nighttime or in the morning when i turn off the lights this little lamp situation is usually on and I have it in the corner also. So this is the only thing that really changed in the apartment and it really didn't change. These are from Target and these little spoons, they are from Amazon. I'm gonna try to link everything down below. But one thing I did wanna talk about is these lights that I purchased from Amazon. I am not linking these down below because I would not recommend them. Um, I've been having these for about six months now and they started to flicker on and off our contact the seller customer service was horrible so at this point these are no go so i don't think we're going to do it in this vlog but i want to do under the light under cabinet lighting but i don't want to go with these anymore i'm thinking about doing led strip lights but i need to do it in a way that it'll be seamless and you won't be able to see them but yeah I'm not linking these because I do not recommend them. Now, I did wanna share with you guys these curtains. When I first moved here, y'all, I was on a hunt for curtain curtains. I don't know if you can see it, let me turn this way. Let me turn the lighting down. The texture on these have like a linen feel. Linen curtains were very expensive. Like, I'm talking like hundreds of dollars, especially for the length I wanted. So. See the texture of these? I think that is so gorgeous. And these are also like an oatmeal um, 
color. Now, I did not want to get white curtains for the living room because nothing in this living room, oh, let me put the curtains, the blinds down. Nothing in here is white. Ignore that, that is my outside patio furniture, well, cushions, I had to bring them inside. Well, lately I keep them in because it's been raining every day and I do not want them to get mildew. I think that's disgusting. So let's start with the rod. At the top, I did a black rod just to give it a little more character and break it up. I didn't want to go with gold or anything. And the vibe in here is farmhouse chic with a lot of glam. That's why you see like gold and stuff like that. So with these curtains, I love these because they do hit the ground and I don't know if you can see if you I'm gonna put the blinds up just a little you cannot see outside at all these are semi let's close this in these are semi sheer curtains girl I would highly recommend them they come in so many different colors here I do have three I have six panels that's three packs they do come two in a pack um they are about $30 and I believe I got the 96 inches if that's a thing 96 and 92 one of them because i did want them to touch the ground and these are from amazon which i'm going to link them down below the rod comes from home good i will not have a link for that if anybody know me they know i am a blackout curtain girl in this apartment i still wanted everything to be very airy and light so i'm a blackout curtain girl and girl when i went to get hold on i'm gonna just open it just a little bit how do i do this okay make sure we put them down now behind here I have these it's like a shed a blackout shed I guess you can say when I went to Home Depot and Lowe's to price this online everything girl they wanted to charge me this is a balcony door they wanted to charge me like a thousand dollars between one thousand and twelve hundred for just this alone to uh, cover this and it comes low i actually picked these up motorized blinds from amazon believe it or not and i did customize them myself um as you can see i did go with like this i don't know neutral color you can get them in black white i wanted the neutral because i knew everything in here would be neutral and most days these blinds are actually open so i can get natural light however when i'm watching tv i still want it to be dark so it did come with this remote now you can buy multiple blinds and you can also get this remote to work for every single every pair of blinds you get you can like get them to go up and down together me i did not want that because i have these blinds in the living room and i also have them in my room sometimes i don't want the room blinds open so you can change the channels on here but i'm not gonna raise this window up completely just for privacy reasons but i'm gonna do it just a little as you can see it can go up it can go down and I forgot the length that I, I customized them I basically measured this whole situation and got these blinds I'm gonna link the seller down below I did pay for expedited shipping like $30 girl I've been having these things for since like the summer I love them and also with these you can just plug it up I keep it plugged up you can unplug it if you want to if this is not your vibe if you don't like the wire showing of course a mine don't show because they're behind here you can unplug it just keep them charged I don't have time for that so I just leave them plugged up so it was definitely worth the money now this little corner is still pretty much the same I get so many questions about <laughs> this little nook let's just start with this mirror the mirror is from home goods i changed this multiple times looking for the perfect mirror i wanted a gold mirror because for me i don't know the gold adds a little glam and that's what i was missing i get so many questions on these bookshelves these are gold leaf bookshelves and they are from amazon i'm going to link them down below this is also pretty much the same you guys saw me clean this chair i love this chair will highly recommend this chair the chair is from target y'all when it comes to this chair i purchased like four different chairs for this area and this was the one that i feel like fits my personality the most because it still gives you glam and you see the texture i think that's so pretty it just it's especially with the um gucci throw this just says g this little corner is just 
me. Now, right here, the only thing that did change was, oh, let me move this. I don't want to show the pictures. Anytime I have pictures, y'all, I try not to show them because they're so personal to me. Um, the only thing that did change in this corner was this. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had, um, basically this was smaller. I got the shorter one. It was a circle, but what I was realizing, it just was too short and I would have so much wall space. So what I did was went back to Amazon and I just picked up the large one. Now this is an acrylic vase. I love this. I just, I just think it's fabulous, modern, and it's different. So I love this. I usually keep baby breaths over here because I just find that they are easy to manage they don't die as quick as other flowers and i don't have to worry too much about them and i get a lot of questions about this situation this is actually a food board from home goods and this y'all remember last year target had those candles everybody was buying pretty much i ordered some of those candles and i knew once those candles basically went out burnt out i would just clean the candle holder i guess you can say and put tea light candles. Now, one thing I would recommend, guys, lately I have been buying these tea light candles from, hopefully you can see that. I've been buying these candles from Amazon, 100 in a pack, and they just pretty much give me the vibe that I want because sometimes I just want ambiance. I don't wanna to have to keep burning all of my candles, so I want ambiance. So I may burn one expensive candle at a time, and for the most part, have tea light candles everywhere else so I can get the candle vibe without burning all of my candles and having to constantly spend hundreds of dollars on candles. Now for this corner, the last recommendation is gonna be my lamp. Baby, let me tell you something. When it comes to this little lamp right here, I have two of them in this apartment. I love this lamp. It does come with a remote. Now this remote, if I press this off, oh, am I pressing off? If I press it off right now, I'm sure it turned off the light in my bedroom. Also, they're synced. <laughs> One remote will literally control every light in the house. Girl, it's so modern. It's out of the way. It's so slim and chic. I love this lamp. If I could recommend this lamp a million times, I would, okay? I love this lamp. It is about $80. That's not cheap, but I promise you I've been having it for six months. No issue. What made me get this lamp? Oh, let me turn it back on. I can alter the lighting. So that's like a mixture between warm and cool lights. I usually have it on this setting, which is the warmest. Um, I don't like that. That's like white, white light. And that, and also, that's the brightest. It's not coming off super bright on camera. And I know right now you can't really tell, but it's brighter in person. Right now, it's like a very warm lighting. The camera is altering the lights. But I got this because one of my favorite hotels is Public Hotel. If you've been to Public in New York, you know the lighting and the smell, the ambiance is impeccable in that hotel. This definitely inspired my, my vibe. Public Hotel <laughs> inspired a lot in here. So I would highly recommend this lamp because I love it. And yeah, that's the only thing that really changed for this area. For those of you who are gonna ask, this is from Target. And I love that. It just gives a little more glam, a little zhuzh. We're gonna just ignore the picture area, so we're gonna just go over. I don't know why I'm so picky about showing pictures. I guess it's because it's not just me, it's other people on those pictures, but I get so many questions about this candle holder. That candle holder is from uh, at home. I'm gonna link this down below because girl to this day you guys go to my old videos to get question ask questions about this and this is usually where I have like the main candle in the apartment So now I can just burn one at a time and have tea light candles Um, and also this is not together if, if you can see it's like on top of a board which is a food board from home goods now this little area is just a vibe the main color, like the pop of color in my apartment is Hermes Orange. This is an Hermes Orange box. This is one of my favorite butterflies. Well, my favorite butterfly, which is a Monarch. And it's orange. It's the vibe. Uh, I got this. This is basically like a sage section. And if, as you can see, 
I have another lamp here, which is perfect for like at nighttime. I just love this little vibe and some pompous. Also, I get so many questions when I take pictures and put it on my story. You guys are always asking about this little basket. I'm always on a couch and I just basically have blankets in here. My favorite butterfly blanket and this little situation, which I just stuff it in and when I'm ready to sit on the couch, I pick it up. And also this is from mm, Target. Now when it comes to my coffee table, also another item I get asked about a, a lot, okay? The coffee table is from Home Goods, and if you can find it, I would recommend it. I thought it was pretty small, but when I kind of like start to live with it, I was like, I cannot send it back. I was going to buy a new coffee table and change this one out, but I don't want to because I feel like this coffee table is so different and it adds so much character. And I'm constantly changing this situation around. The This is from Target. The candle is one another Target candle that was completed, so I just cleaned it out and I put a tea light candle in it, which I love. I just love how pretty it looked. The box is from at home. This is the smaller version of the big one that I have. Now, I know my flowers are dead, so this is not a good representation. So I did change this little situation because I wanted something different and I'm sure this will not be like this sooner or later. I'm gonna constantly change it. But what I did want is if I'm walking into the apartment, I will get this pretty situation. I promise y'all, it looks so much better when my flowers are not dying. This is just such a, a bad representation. Um, but I wanted something to wear. I don't mind sharing this picture because it's me. When you walk in, you get this pretty situation. But if I go this way and I'm sitting on the couch, you also get this the same view i was told that you can't have a picture of yourself in your apartment because it's just ridiculous i said i'm not listening to that <laughs> i uh, wanted to put this picture up because y'all this was such a good day when i tell y'all this was like a great day when i first moved here i remember this day every time i see this day it just brings me pure joy so i had to put her here so that's pretty much the coffee table and I'm sure probably by the time you guys see this, it does not look like this because I'm constantly changing it, especially the flowers. I'm actually going out to get new flowers today. All right, so for the main attraction, you guys have been asking about this couch for months at this point. And now that I've had her for about six months now, I can kind of like give my opinion on it. This couch is the Utopia couch from living spaces i believe this couch is 96 inches long it, so it's a very long couch i don't know if you can kind of like see that on camera but the couch is pretty long okay um also like i said i don't have end tables so i use this little stool from oh my god is this west elm no i wanted the one from west elm and the one from west elm y'all it was like 200 dollars for a stool like this why I walked out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna think about it. Walk literally next door into TJ Maxx. This right here was $20. So that's kind of like my end table. But back to the couch. This couch, I love it. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. When I purchased this couch, it was $1,200. Now I believe it's $1,500, like $1,495, which I still would recommend. Now this, the texture of the couch, Hold on, let me zoom in. Hopefully you can see that, am I too bright? The texture of this couch is also like the curtains. It's like this linen texture, which I do find, it makes the couch more durable and definitely su sustainable. I have waist things on this couch. I sleep on this couch. What I also love about this couch, you can remove the cushion covers and wash them which is great i feel like this couch is great for anyone who has kids if you have pets this is such a great couch especially if you're looking for a cloud couch dupe the couch did not come with these pillows um the couch came with pillows that match the fabric and texture of the couch i wanted to break it up a little i felt like it wasn't glam enough for me it was a little too casual so i put those in storage and i just purchased these large fluffy white pillows from 
Target, which I love. Now, if I was to take the pillows off this couch, I wanna show y'all how deep it is. It is super deep. I love this couch. I would definitely say this is a good cloud couch dupe. So if you don't wanna have pillows on a couch, that's how it will look. For me, that's a little too casual. I have seen people on TikTok and Instagram kind of like leave no pillows on the vibe because if you go to like home, not home, restoration hardware sometimes they will show the cloud couch like this but for me i feel like the pillows just add a little more zhuzh i don't have any cons with this couch um like i said i've wasted things on it it was very easy to spot clean take the things cushions off if i needed to um yeah the only thing about the couch i would say this couch is pretty low i don't know if you can see that it sits pretty low on the ground but yeah i don't have anything negative to say about this couch i feel like especially if you want this cloud couch dupe look this is such a great couch if we've been honest y'all this couch is a 10 out of 10 recommend everything probably looks so empty because this is not complete so this right here is the main project in this vlog and i feel like the vlog is actually forced doing this video is actually forcing me to do it to finish that so i feel like once we complete this girl it's going to be so pretty but let me show y'all my idea that i have all right so this is the idea that i originally was going to order this from etsy but i wanted to customize it because that's too short to go behind my couch my couch is 96 inches so i want this to be kind of like dramatic and be at least oh maybe 80 inches 86 i want it to be very long and i want the fringes to be super i want it to be long and width and i want the fringes to be long also girl do can y'all believe they tried to charge me 1500 dollars to make this i go to amazon and not amazon i went to youtube and they had a diy project for this so i have to go and get a wooden, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna take this to Home Depot and ask them, can we kind of like match something very close to this? So I have to get a little wooden bar. I already have the fringe and I have to dip dye the, dip dye the fringe myself, which I'm not doing that in this vlog. My goal in this vlog, just finish this. So we're doing a DIY project, my girl, because I'm not paying $1,500. Once I, hold on. So once I decided to do it myself, I went to Amazon and I got this large roll of yarn, which was $50 and I forgot how much this was, like how many yards this is, but this should be enough to complete the wall. So I have this, which was 50. The little wooden, I don't know, panel should be no more than $10. I'm hoping less than that. Girl, I'm going to make this myself. I have a glue gun and all of that. So in this vlog, we're going to at least finish this. So no, start it. We're not finishing it. I'm not about to lie to y'all. Goal is to at least complete it. I'm not going to dip dye it. But by the end of this video, listen, this needs to be up here. If it's not up here, please hold me accountable in the comments. Because if I don't do it now, we ain't going to never do it. All right, so for the last apartment update, I did do some revamping in my bedroom. As you can see, this used to be on the couch. I um, brought it in the room because I got tired of seeing it on the couch, if we're being honest. Um, for the couch, my goal is to probably find a new throw. I don't know which one I want to do. I was thinking about doing the Hermes blanket, but I'm kind of over the Hermes blanket, so I don't know. This is a Casa Luna cable knit blanket from... Target. I'm gonna link it down below because this is something I would recommend. I've been having it for six months and it still looks great and it's just that nice fun piece that adds texture and it will definitely just give a little more character character to a situation. Like it looks so amazing on my bed. All right, so on the floor, I decided to add a new rug. I don't know if you guys can see this. I got this from Amazon because girl, I have been on a hunt for a new rug and I could not find a rug. This is exactly what i was looking for i don't know why i didn't go to amazon to start with so as you guys can see the details on this rug is like new they call it ivory to me it's i would say white well cream mixed with like little hints of this taupe and nude i don't know i'm not gonna say the lining but you guys let me see you can see that it's very very pretty and i just think this 
just brought out the carpet even more so i'm going to link this carpet down below because i would highly recommend it um in this area the only thing that changed was i add this table here this table is from target the ottoman is also from target so that didn't change um i would highly recommend this because it's fabulous it also stores my pajamas you guys know i'm a pajama girl i told you i had another light that is the light there but this is the main attraction i'm not gonna go too close because there's a picture there <laughs> with other people the vase that was in the living room is now in the bedroom and i love to keep roses in that i keep a candle i don't know i just thought this table would look really good here let me move so you guys can see me and that's how it looks i think this looks super pretty modern clean but it's very pretty it it screams g okay and my gucci pillow Y'all know I told y'all I've been wanting this pillow. I am so happy I got this pillow because it just gives me the vibes, okay? I think I'm becoming a Gucci home decor girl. I love Gucci home decor, okay? So I just thought the table and the ottoman together, it just gives a really nice vibe, especially with the lamp. You guys actually like when I record here. So that's the new vibe. And the roses will be changed out as they die. Also, this picture, you guys can't see the people in the picture. This was a fun night. We was at Soho House this night. No, Dumbo House. Girl, we had the time of our lives, okay? That was a night. Hey y'all, so I am just walking in the house. Girl, let me tell y'all. I went, I left out to get water because I didn't have no water. And I went to get to the deli to get turkey because I want a turkey sandwich. My grandma said she had to go to the stove, so I let her go to the stove with me. Can y'all believe? I left the house at 1. It is 5.36. My grandma's the type of person, if you go anywhere with her, one store is equivalent to five. I'm done with her, okay? But I uh, don't need to show y'all groceries, like a grocery haul, because that has nothing to do with nothing. Um, girl, I'm so tired. She really wore me out. This has nothing to do with... um home decor but let me tell you something this these crab cakes from sam's my girl is i hope it's okay y'all this is so good you can put them in an air fryer but i usually put mine in an oven baby i need to eat these tonight um i even made crab cake sandwiches with this like little sliders these things are so good but i'm not gonna show any more um any more food so I went to TJ Maxx because I went to y'all. Y'all know I told you that I would check every other day for some more of the rose water spray because every time they put one out, I need to be buying it. Um, I ended up picking up these. I got these sponges to go in the bathroom uh, because I've been actually looking for something like that and I wanted to try them out. I got some new face towels or bath towels because I usually always have white towels but for some reason every anytime my face towels start to look dingy I just throw them away and it was time for me to re-up and get a new pack I usually only get white so this time I got gray and white I'm gonna see how I feel about that and maybe next time I would um probably just get um the I'm losing my thought. If I don't like the gray, next time I'm gonna just stick to white. What made me start getting my face towels from Home Goods and TJ Maxx is because there are certain brands that um, is specific for like different hotels. So I found so many like luxury hotel towels uh, at Home Goods. So got those. And I also got this. We're about to go in the room because I got some stuff for my room. I didn't plan. I thought I was done updating my room. But I found this candle, which is, how cute is this? I thought this was just super cute. And you can just, hold on, it has tape on it. I got this to go on that black table in my room. Why do my glasses feel so heavy? So it's. Mm, it smells like a Christmas tree, but is this candle? I got it because it's glass and once it burned completely down I'll just most likely burn other candles in here, but I thought the container of it was super cool
I blame y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe I did that. And I don't have a vacuum cleaner. <sighs> okay. <sighs> this will not ruin my day. This is not gonna ruin my day. Nope. Anyways, moving on to the next thing. Because that, my day is going too good to go bad. So, oh, girl, I need to put on shoes. Hold on one second. Oh, I don't like to wear shoes in the house. I promise I'm legit more annoyed that I don't have a vacuum. Like, I don't really care about it breaking because I can go back tomorrow. Thank God it wasn't expensive. It was only $7, but I'm more annoyed that, oh, they have glass everywhere. I'm more annoyed that I don't have the vacuum. Girl, it's shattered, so it's like literally everywhere I look, it's shattered, girl. It's shattered so much it even went in my room. It's all over the carpet. <gasps> but you know what? This is not gonna ruin my day. I'm about to listen to SZA and we're gonna just enjoy the rest of the day. This is not about to ruin my day. So I actually got that candle to go here because I thought it would look so cute with the little top but as you guys know I broke it so I'm gonna go um back tomorrow and get another one but I don't know it's so cute I like how it has like the texture and stuff on it oh girl tragic right okay y'all so now that I've calmed down a little uh I gotta go very slow so I don't break this so I got this little glass case I wanna I had an idea when I saw it in the store so I'm about to actually run out to go get the other one. I didn't buy all of them. Look how dope this is. <gasps> how cute will that be? This is like perfect for the wall. They have um, one like this, but it has six. And I wanna go back so I can put my other Hermes clicks in there. Oh, that is so dope. And I'm gonna, well, I'll show y'all how I plan on styling it up. Hold on. This is how it came out. I actually like it. I think it's something super different. And I don't know, I love this. How cute is that? And I could just raise it up. And of course we had to put the Celine ID necklace back there. I actually like this. I think this is super cool. And I'm gonna go back to get the um, other case. I don't know where I'm, I don't have any place to put it, but once I move, I feel like that one would definitely come in handy and I'd rather have it on hand, at least put it in storage just to have it because I love this. Oh, let's fix this. Oh Lord. So yeah, I love it. I think it's super fabulous. And that's how it looks y'all. So I guess another update. Okay y'all. So I am back at the scene of the crime, girl. And, uh-uh, Stephanie, I have to mute you. Hold on. You keep saying that, right? Uh-uh, this is my phone. You don't talk to me like that. I will hang up on you. Okay, anyways, I am, um, y'all, I told y'all I wasn't gonna let me dropping the candle ruin my day. I'm not, not gonna happen. So, in order for me to feel happy, I had to, go back to TJ Maxx. So I just left um, back to TJ Maxx and I got the other case. Now this one, as you can see, it has six. So I think I'm gonna end up putting some more cuffs cause I have a lot of cuffs, but I was also thinking about doing like arty rings, not in each one, like maybe three in each one, whatever. I'm gonna do something like that. But now nah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get it together right now. I'm gonna speak very slowly because, girl, if I break this, I'm gonna punch myself in the head. I got another one. Now this one, it's not the color that I wanted it to be, but by me always getting like a dusty rose or a pink, um, dusty rose or a blush roses, a 
those colored um, flowers, I think this would be okay. So I'm gonna come close. I'm gonna hold it with my everything, okay? But the thing that I was like, <sighs> the thing that really won me over with this, and I was like, you know what, G? It was meant to be. Could you guess the name of this candle? Could you guess? Girl, I'm holding it with everything. Hold on, do y'all see that? Hope y'all do. The name of this candle, the scent is Prosecco Rose. Tell me it's not meant to be. Tell me, hold on, let me put it down. <laughs> Tell me it's not meant to be, okay? It was meant to be. So, I love this, look how cute this is. Oh, that's just super cute. So, now I'm back happy. I'm on the phone with, oh, girl, she hung up on me, y'all. I was on the phone with Stephanie. She wanted to tell y'all, hey, but, mm, mm So, now that I'm back being happy, I could get um back to my show. Um, I'm binge watching, girl, I'm binge watching a whole lot of stuff between Gossip Girl, The Braxton's, Marriage Boot Camp, um, the housewives I'm just on a binge right now and also if you guys could probably tell this video is like a combination of a whole week of you, you're seeing basically a whole lot of days meshed together but the ed editing I promise you it's gonna be to perfection it's gonna flow okay and this also may be a very long video because I still haven't did the um, wall. I'm gonna do that in the morning. I'm gonna do that in the morning because this video has to go out Thursday. By the time this video hit Thursday, we might be at an hour. I don't wanna get to an hour because I'm like, oh my God, that may be super long. So I'm gonna try to narrow it down. Hopefully I can get it under an hour, but this made me so happy. So I did end up adding this one to the middle. As you guys can see, it's not the same size, but I'm okay with that. And this is what I decided to do. So I have the Artie rings, which, oh, girl, I am literally gagging. So I have all of the Artie rings and I decided to put my butterfly rings over here and my Gucci brooch. I love this. This is so dope. I really, really love this. So, hey girlfriends. So, it is a new day, as you can tell. I'm about to actually go work out in my building and then we're gonna go um, to Home Depot or Lowe's, whichever one I come across first to get the piece for this. And I also wanna stop to maybe like Hobby Lobby or Marshalls to get some more glue sticks for the glue gun because I think I only have two and I don't think that's gonna be enough. So yeah, and once I get back, I have to cut the yarn to, my liking and all that basically we're gonna do this today so just wanted to say hey girl hey it is a new day and i am wearing my workout clothes if you guys have not watched my um fashionable athleisure and active wear, you should because let me show y'all what i have on this little piece was a part of that video this is three pieces i have on today i have on that bra sports bra which girl can we get into it how cute is this um i have on some high-waisted leggings and the little overcoat and what i'm gonna do is just wear this to run my errands and today i'm carrying my what is this my chanel timeless vanity and yeah i'm gonna wear this fashionably cute and then i'm gonna um go to the gym so i'll see you guys outside you guys will not be coming with me to the gym but anything that i have to do that has to do with home decor updates you guys will be a part of that today so just wanted to say hey girl hey it is a new day i made it to home depot however i don't know what i'm looking for and i don't want to ask for help because i forgot it's full of men fun fact y'all i used to in college i used to work at home depot and lowe's i got fired from lowe's and i went to home depot and oh wait, I think this may work. Hold on. So basically I want something like this. I would like it to be a different color on the um on YouTube. The lady she did kind of like dye hers. Oh, I think this is gonna be perfect. She not dyed it, but she stained it. I think this is gonna be perfect. Do I get it cut? Oh, and look at the price. One dollar. I think that's the one that I'm gonna get because oh i also like this one i think i'm gonna do this one because it has a thicker panel i'm gonna do this one because i like 
how thick the panel is, but I need to get this cut because I don't need this whole thing. So let's find some help. Girl, not me asking one person for help and 10 men come to help me, child, to cut a piece of wood. They have got me fucking here doing manual labor. I don't work here no more, girl. Girl, this wood was $30. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This DIY project is adding the hell up. $30, I thought this thing was gonna be like $10 or something. She said $28, I said, what, for what? Oh, that just annoyed me. So I'm actually in the same parking lot as Hobby Lobby, so I'm about to just walk here to get the glue sticks. All right, so let's see, let's see. See, that's my type of prices right there. I think 15 should be enough. For $1.99, that's not bad. And I don't need, oh my God, now I'm messing up because what if this is two different sizes? Oh Lord. All right, y'all, so I am back home. I just plugged up the glue gun and we're about to get started. So I need to take my socks off, oh, but I kind of need my socks. Um, I got this, I don't even know the name of it. I asked the man, man at Home Depot, what is this in my face? I asked the man at Home Depot, this is not considered lumber. Girl, whatever. It's like, I don't know, it's a piece of wood. So I got this and I love the cut on it. It's so pretty. This one looks more luxurious. The other one was just like a little, it looked like trimming. I didn't like that. So I did get 80, my couch is 96 inches. I wanted the whatever is behind the couch to be dramatic so i did get this little board to be 86 inches and i am praying that it is not too ugh, i don't know i'm standing on the couch with these socks hold on y'all i need to change and put on some new socks i don't think i think that'll be fun actually i think it's perfect but it's also going to be higher than this so i need to get the measuring tape to see how long i need the fringes to be actually ran out of yarn but this is how far I've gotten it's like halfway so I have well hmm, almost halfway so I have this much left I just ordered um another roll of yarn off of Amazon which is annoying because I just saw that they raised the price to $60 it was $50 now it's $60 but I don't know if you can see hold on let me put my camera up it looks a little empty I guess you can say because I have to untangle them and once you untangle them, they fall flat. But this is the, the idea, I guess you can say. And also now I see why they wanted to charge me $1,500 girl because I've been doing this for about two hours. I am tired. And just imagine this thing is 86 inches. I have to finish this whole thing and I also have to dip dye this is another reason why i don't want to dye it and i'm not tinting this this is going to be like a darker brown i'm going to um like i said tint it like with wood tint but yeah so far this is how it would look and my camera is about to die oh and it's just gonna go behind there oh girl i'm going to the gym because i'm tired and actually I switched this light around. At first it was facing this way, but I felt like it was just too much going on in this little corner. So once I switched the light this way, I actually like it this way. I don't know if you guys can tell, but in person, that light is very, very warm. Right now it's kind of like being, I think the um camera is altering the light, but yeah, this is kind of like where I read. Anytime I do my morning devotional or whatever book I'm reading, I usually leave it right there. And I sit here. I usually sip my coffee here. And yeah, I decided to turn it this way. And of course, something is going here anyway. So I just finished my 2022 um, scrapbook. Y'all, this scrapbook has all of the memories, okay? Um, 
I just finished. I wanted to show y'all this because I think this is something that I would highly recommend everyone um, start doing. These are pictures that I literally, let me see if I can switch. Yeah, I can turn this. Y'all seen some of these. These are pictures that I like take in my phone. Scrapbook pictures, I don't like them to be perfect. I don't post them on Instagram. Some of them I do post on Instagram, but most of them, I'm the type of person, any type of picture I take, I'm going to put it in my scrapbook just for the memories. This is like 2020, 2019. Uh, no, I messed up. Something like that. Each year have a book. And what I plan on doing now since I finished all of these now, I like this theme of having like this, I don't know if you can see it. It's like metallic um, photo scrapbooks or whatever. I got all of these from TJ Maxx and Home Goods for like $17. So now I'm going to put little quotes about making memories in here in each one with like the year so it'll be like i believe this one let me see like right there this is 2020 2019 and some of 2021 and this is all of 2021 and i think 2020 yeah this is going to be 2022 right here so i will highly recommend doing this i started to do this because i wanted my kids to be able to I don't know, see, oh, hold on. Basically, I wanted my kids to be able to share the memories with me. Like now I'll be able to look back and tell them what show them and my nieces and nephews. You know, so funny, my nie nieces and nephews love to um, look at all of these pictures now. They'd be like, oh my God, look at me when I was a baby. And I'm like, yeah, that was like a year ago. But I'll be able to show my kids like when I went to fashion week and when I was featured in the CFDA um, blog to business. So it's kind of like all of my memories. Let me see. When I went to homecoming, it's just so many things that I'll be able to show my kids and this is something that i would highly recommend now that i finished these three i can put these in my memory box so i have a memory box which is like a huge container y'all last time i checked I, like i added all the pictures up over the years it's literally over ten thousand plus pictures there because each year i have like maybe two thousand pictures this year was I think I had 1,133 pictures and I've been doing this since like 2016, 2017. So I have over 10,000 pictures. And I don't know if you guys remember uh, when earlier um, during December, I showed y'all these picture frames. These are, well, me and my sisters. And I just basically put us in it. So now let's say 30 years from now, when we take these out every year around Christmas and pop this up, we'll remember these days. So I would highly recommend cherish your memories, girl. Don't uh, depend on Instagram to hold your memories, my girl. All right, y'all. So I'm actually going to end out this vlog because I'm not going to even finish this DIY project. Hopefully next time I vlog, you guys will be able to see the finished product. But I'm about to go to the gym. This girl, I'm tired. Okay. And I'm covered in lint. But I hope you guys enjoyed this apartment maintenance slash updates. Anything that you guys saw in this video, it will be linked down below. If I did not link anything, maybe I don't have a link. Or just ask me in the comments and I'm going to link it down below. So if you enjoyed this video, my girl, go ahead and give it a big thumbs, thumbs up. And I will see you girls in the next one.